So uh, we're here at uh, CES 2012, and uh, what are you showing here? Hi, so we're showing uh, two things. We're showing the LG Revolution device, and then on top of that, uh, VMware solutions for uh, allowing you to run a second phone on your device. So the use case that we're targeting is to allow you to separate your personal use of the device from the work usage of the device. And what this means is basically you get to run a second copy of the operating system, protected, of course, by a password. And this basically is a completely separate environment that you get to use for work. You can switch back and forth between the two environments. Your personal environment is under your control and you can manage it as you see fit. The corporate environment is basically managed and controlled by the IT administrator, right? So you, you, they get to decide what applications go here and uh, run it based on the policies that they do. So decide. right here you can't move stuff around or you can still move it? You can move it around, but you can't install applications yeah. just to make sure that you uh, don't go and install a rogue application that for example, siphons off information from the device to uh, some, uh, you know, so this is uh, make a call. the best uh, multi-OS uh, virtualization on Android, or what is this? That is, that is exactly correct. It basically allows you to run uh, multiple copies of an operating system on a device, uh, but you get to separate it out and uh, do different use cases for different... Multi copies of the same OS, or it can be other? It could be different operating systems. Uh, what we are showing here is basically Android on top of Android, and that's the uh, most attractive use case. You don't want to mix and match just because it becomes a very jarring experience from a user's perspective. Can you save some space if you use Android on top of Android? Uh, not really. It's still two... You can actually... What you're seeing is two different versions of Android. You cannot share some parts of it? Potentially you can, but it's not worth the security risk, and also uh, the, it doesn't, the savings are not that much. So how much space do you need to take for each Android uh, installed? Uh, minimal compared to basically the amount of uh, space that these devices offer. Uh, so uh, most of these devices are ranging in the 16 gig uh, available space. Each one of these images are significantly smaller than that in terms of the footprint that they have. So think uh, basically uh, about a gigabyte or thereabouts depending on how many applications you have on there. But, uh you put it in a RAM, no? You don't. Uh, you put it somewhere else. It depends on the phone where it lands, uh, the capabilities of the device. You can actually have it on the SD card if you want. So is this a big deal for VMware? It is a huge deal for VMware. It, huge. Uh, well, yeah, it allows us to basically extend the platform that we built on the data center side of the world and the desktop side of the world now all the way to these uh, endpoints that are coming into the enterprise. Is there any other custom things going on with Android, or you would just basically, if, if you want to log in again every yeah. time you type in? Yeah. So so these, the policies that you, uh, you see are basically imposed by the IT administrator in terms of how often uh, these, uh, for example, your password is required or what is the strength of that password. So you get to control that as an IT administrator, but purely for that second environment, the virtual machine, rather than uh, you know imposing any restrictions on the user as a whole where it might cause an inconvenience. Is there any like chip level security, like an arm trust zone or something going on? So uh, we don't require any specific hardware features for this solution to run. Obviously, if there are capabilities in the underlying device that's available, we can certainly use it. But uh, this solution that you see is basically you just hit the personal button, takes it back. Uh, it doesn't require any uh, specific uh, hardware. Uh, so this, these are your what kind of version? Uh, it could be any version. So this is yeah. Maybe you can try it. The less uh, setting features when you're in. Uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a lockdown version of Android. If so Why is it 2.2? Uh, that's basically for us to demonstrate you can run different versions of the operating system. So if, you if you look at the other side, you'll see that it's a... Uh, Could you even have more than two? Pardon me? Could you have more than two? More than two instances? Yeah, technically it's feasible. Uh, the first version of the product basically supports one extra uh, persona, if you will. But uh, and the capabilities of these devices are growing so fast that uh, we, we might add that in the near future.